I first heard about paper airplanes when I had the opportunity to hear Samantha Power, the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., speak in 2016. She mentioned paper airplanes as an example of what young, motivated people could do to have an impact on the refugee crisis. I like positive people, so I joined paper airplanes to keep being optimistic and effective. I choose to learn English in this organization because I think that the best way to learn language by speaking with native speakers. I believe in education as a force to counteract destruction in our world. I was frustrated with the message that I received on a regular basis, the feeling that I couldn't do anything to help uh, with the Syrian crisis, to help these people who had lost their homes. And what Paper Airplanes helped me discover is that there are really direct ways to engage uh, with the crisis and to help the people who have been displaced by it. My greatest joy in the program has been to get to know an intelligent and sensitive young Syrian man whose college studies were interrupted by war. Many years ago, I did study chemistry, so I am able to help him in the specialized English vocabulary of chemistry. But to be honest, in the process, he is teaching me as much chemistry as I am teaching him English. My favorite part of Paper Airlines is speaking and writing. Actually, it's the first time in my life I talk with native English speaker. My favorite part of working with Paper Airplanes is getting to know my students on a personal level and helping them share their stories with the rest of the world. My student, Elias, has just passed his visa interview. So he's going to Italy to complete a master's degree in web development. And just from working with my own mentee, I know I've learned a lot more about what life is like in her part of the world and how these issues are affecting her every day. I'm meeting with great people who delightfully wanted to give a hand to a completely different nation, suffers for more without anything in return. Chatting with someone who is outside your community, who is kind, let you know that you can overcome the adversity and you should be proud of yourself. Being a part of this process and helping him prepare has definitely been one of the most meaningful things I've ever done.